So hi guys, welcome to the Fam Gaming again. So this time I'm using my MacBook to actually record this video. As you can see, the quality of the built-in FaceTime video is probably high definition, but probably still not that good. So what did I do? I bought this webcam. So I'm planning to use this for my gaming sessions and streams uh, because the PS5 HD camera is not that good. I'm not sure whether this will work with the PS5 but we can test it out later. So right now let's unbox this. Okay, let's open it up. I got this uh, at a special price from one of the shopping platform. I'm not going to mention them. Stick this somewhere. So it's pretty small. It's like palm size. Okay. Open it up. <clears throat> So on the box itself, it shows you how to place the camera. I think it comes with the camera stick, tripod, if I'm not wrong. So here you go. Okay, let's pick it up. Oops. Having some trouble. Okay. Oh, oops. Okay, there's nothing else inside the box. What we have is tripod so it's a pretty solid tripod so I actually could use this camera for my work time okay. let's get the camera out of this packaging come on So this is the camera. It's pretty solid. It's like hard plastic and some metal pieces. It's, there's some weight to it. It's not like very light. So that's actually the heavy part is this part. Okay. And it's a USB connector. So it comes with what is this? special offer for purchasing a Logitech so I'm going to cover this up so I have a code for XSplit software 3 month premium license oops I reduced some of it so probably I can use this software try it out use the usual guide probably it's not even a guide so I'm going to plug this in to my MacBook. Okay. And let's you know what? Let's put it on a tripod. So I need to get the wrapper of this first. I'm just toasting my lunch. I hope it doesn't catch us on fire. This out of the way. Screw this in. So it's pretty simple. Just attach it to the base. So this is a bit loose. The stand is loose. I think we can actually tighten this with the lock here. Yep. Just twist it to tighten. Then tilt it up. Oh, okay. Do this. So this is how it looks like. Let's move the camera down a bit. So we're gonna compare the resolution against the same lighting. Let's peel. Do I need to peel this off? Yeah, I don't think I need to peel off the sticker of the camera. Let's try to swap the camera if possible. So it actually auto detects my oh okay I have to stop this so let's continue with the video after I stop this and switch the camera around okay so welcome back to the testing and review of the Logitech camera 
So right now I'm not using my MacBook. So I'm using the new Logitech camera. From the first looks of it, it's sharp and clear, less grainy because of the lighting. So when you have low light, the image tends to be gets grainy and wash out. So for now, I think the camera is still quite good. Look at, I mean, the fonts on my t-shirt still pretty sharp. So I have even my mole, you can see my mole on my face. And it's a lot brighter. So there's no change in the lighting or whatsoever. But the image actually becomes brighter by default. So and the camera will actually lights up when it's turned on. So let's showing you this. Oops. Haha. <laughs> can't actually see it. So you can't. Oh yeah, okay, you can't see, the camera can't see itself, or can it? Nope, you can't see yourself. So for now, it's, I'm quite impressed by the quality of the camera. Let's move it around a bit. So it auto brightens up. I'm going to try it on my PS5 and see whether it detects it and if yes, oh, probably I can use that camera to stream okay, so right now there's no other software involved I'm using QuickTime to actually use this camera so if I have a better software, I will use it and we'll test it out again so thanks for watching this video and remember to click subscribe for more videos and also my live gaming streams. Thank you. See you again.